X X was wild From the X, beginning X was wild Okay X was wild I remember my album release party I had a party in the tunnel You know the tunnel Is the wildest New York club You don't be in there By yourself You need at least right. Six yeah. goons with you And I mean niggas Who on go mode yeah. You yeah. X came by itself <laughs> Dolo with a bottle of Hennessy with some red shit mixed in it. Like, yeah, I bought a bottle of blood for my dog. Like, oh shit. Like, so you know, I always honored that. Like, X right. was different, man. Like, right. first day I met X, he got us, I think Ja was the one he told the same story. Right. Like, X got us the tow car, the, I mean, the, the car towed by the police. Oh, yeah, I was on the highway? Yeah. Yeah. Then he went, we went to some girl crib. He told her, yeah, what y'all got to eat? Got to feed the dogs. The dogs is hungry. <laughs> Word. He made them fry some fish and some chicken for the dogs. The dogs is hungry. <laughs> then we went back to the beach. This the part Ja left out in this story, though. Ja was foul. He knew right. what happened. Right. Yo, listen. Tell us what happened. Remember, this the first day I met X. All right. I don't know what's going on in Bad Boy, that Harlem circle, what's going on with them. You know, right. Harlem, I'm Brooklyn. Uh -huh. I'm in the car with X, he making right. the girl drop us off. We right. get to the beach. This is when the scooters was the big thing on the beach. So Diddy and Bad Boy, all them riding down on the beach. Here come Mace on the scooter. Out here? Yeah, yeah, well, Miami. Miami. This all happened you in Miami. Was there? <laughs> so here come Mace on the scooter. That nigga X jumped out the car, started chasing Mace. Yo! Get back here. Wait till I catch you, nigga. So, you know me, I'm in the back seat like, what the fuck happened between him and Mace? Like, who is this nigga? Matter of fact, he chasing niggas. And nobody in the crew. That's the first day you met X, you The first day. Right. And nobody in this nigga crew running behind him to stop this nigga. So I'm like, whoever this nigga is, he a fish. <laughs> they ain't want no smoke with this nigga. <laughs> Nigga's like, yeah, I hope he don't catch him. <laughs> I was in the studio with X, he fell asleep, none of his crew woke him up. Yeah, I'm telling yeah, you, he, he was different. Yeah. Yo, bro, we was on a Hard Knock Life tour. You know, you bring your team, you get busy, everybody get busy. He These dog. niggas was stabbing each other. What? Niggas would get back to the bus, yo, bro, you poke me. Look, right here, my side. I was like, yo, these rough riding niggas is wildin'. Yo, they, right. yo, listen, between them and Wu Tang, I can say, they probably was the deepest crews I ever seen. I remember going to the Source Awards and Wu Tang pulled up probably 400 deep with niggas with all them shirts tied around their face. All right. But like, they had something the to prove these niggas? Who was sat down at that time? Yeah. At that time, they had something to prove us. Yeah. Down. It's like, right. who the fuck is these niggas 400 deep with niggas with masks on? They right. could have killed everybody. You wouldn't know who the fuck they was. Right. So, you know, <laughs> hey, I respect them niggas. Right. They right. pulled up deep. Right. Word. And definitely, that's that's how they moved, man. Got to respect it. Mm. It's Bruce Davis on the check-in. And we got Memphis Bleak on the Drink Champs, where he tells a story about DMX chasing Mace while they was on a scooter. Mind you, this is Memphis Bleak's first time meeting DMX, and this also confirms Jar Rule's story about DMX still in the car. Jumps in the car with him, we ride out. Come to find out, he stole the car that we riding in. Like this. Because <laughs> this seems to have happened on the same day. Now, there's not much context out there that I could find as to why DMX had an issue with Mace. I mean, Anybody that was walking around a uh, tunnel with, you know, some Hennessy mixed with some red and calling it blood, you don't want to put it past them. You know, for years, I heard the tunnel was like one of the wildest places to perform in New York, if not the worst. So this isn't too much of a surprise to me. I mean, I did just recently do a video on DMX, you know, all the DMX stories. You know, if y'all want to go check that out. Whatever the issue was, they must have got past it because... You know, X and Mace have done videos together from 24 Hours to Live to Niggas Done Started Something, which is both classic joints. If y'all haven't heard, definitely check that out. So whatever the issue was, it couldn't have been that serious because obviously they got over it. If I had to guess and speculate, X probably saw Mace, you know, especially being down with Bad Boy and was like, yo, look at this. Like, oh, he think he fly. Oh, he think he fresh. I'm gonna go rob him. He's probably on it like that, you know, trying to be a Debo, a bully. If I had to guess, nine times out of 10, if I had to guess, he was probably on that type of time. But, you know, we'll never know unless Mace decides to address this on camera and it is what it is. And hopefully Cam asks him about it, but it's possible he won't just because now they got a business relationship. But, man, we got to know a little bit more. You know, ain't like X can really speak on his side, but there's definitely other Rough Riders out there that can. As y'all heard, Bleak was talking about they was 
playing stabbing each other or something crazy like that but anyway let me know in the comments what y'all think happened and of course if you like the video make sure you like and subscribe